open call audition for the Abby Lee Dance Company. I know there's a lot of talent out there. I am gonna find kids who want to get better, who want to attend booty camp, who want to give me their very best. Hello, come on, let's go, let's go. Bio down here. My name is Abby Lee Miller. I'm here from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is a real audition. This is for a job. I hope that everybody is here because they want to be a part of the Abby Lee Elite Competition Team. I'm not looking for somebody to be second place. I'm looking for somebody that can be my first place when Maddie's not dancing. Watch Maddie, ready? Let me see what you got. Music, five, six, seven, eight, and a one, and a two, and a three, and four. The team I have right now is way too comfortable. I want new members who stretch every night before they go to bed. I want kids who can learn a routine in one day and compete at the next. I want it all. It's gonna get ugly in here. It's right now, one shot you have. All right, let's go. Let's start cutting these kids. Five, six, seven, eight, and... What did they do right? What did they do wrong? How can I learn from them? You're gonna stay, you're gonna stay. You're gonna stay. The boys, I'm gonna keep. Go ahead over there. You're gone. It's not your dancing, it's this. You gotta use your face. It has to change. And the people that I didn't keep, go back to your moms. Thank you. Everybody, hands over your eyes. You're doing it on the lap. I'm confident that I'm gonna find some kid here that fits in well with Maddie. Somebody with the same work ethic, with the same values, with the same goals. And someday, I'm gonna have a whole team full of Maddies. Weren't there some really good dancers in that group? What, ha what happened to them? I don't think they heard you say that go to the left. <laughs> Sorry. Take your hands down. Stand up. Who's your daughter? You just humiliated her on stage in front of all these people. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Raise your hand. Whose mother is this? Goodbye. I'm sorry. And you just sit, put your foot in your mouth. I know, and I apologize. I would never do that. I'm, I apologize. You, you would never do that. You just did it. I can't reteach you. I don't want to reteach you. Sit. All right, let's go. Let's get through this audition. Stay. Go back to that corner. You're staying. You're staying. You're staying. You can go. You can go. You could dance next to Maddie. I'm gonna let you go. You have to work on your turns. You need to figure out which arm you're using at the end. You're staying. You're staying. Everybody else is dismissed. They can go. You guys hang out over there. One more chance, please, Abby. One more chance. When she's on Broadway, call me. I'll get tickets. Let's go. Words of advice, don't pick Abby. Don't speak for your kid. She hates when you're talking for your kid. I don't know who this kid's mom is, but she's leaving with me anyway. I'm, that's Fallon. I'm her mother. Which studio? She is with New Dimensions currently. Currently? What does that mean? Oh, we previously came from a studio for three years with Studio 5D, and then this past year, she's been with New Dimensions. Studio hop. I didn't <laughs> hop. I got kicked out of my previous studio. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There were some amazing kids there, and I just can't wait to see what the future holds for them. Moms, be warned. The ALDC is about to change. I just want kids that want it, that want to be the very best that you can be. And I'm a firm believer in working smart, not always working hard. You are Orlando's finest. 
leave an audition thinking I could have done better. You have to do your very best. You are auditioning for Candy Apples Dance Center. Do you know who Candy Apples Dance Center is? Yes. Yo! So let me tell you something, girls. You have to be stellar. I'm the artistic director of Candy Apples Dance Center, and this is Vivi, and she is going to be checking you out as far as stage presence. She has to be dazzled. So just go ahead and give me your name, please. Hi, I'm Kaylee. Hi, I'm Caroline, and I'm nine. Hello, I'm Maddie. Mm, I don't know if we want another Maddie. You might get nixed just because of the name. Sorry. Well, let's go. Anthony, they're all yours. All right, spread out, ladies. You're gonna go reach out your hands. One, drop, two. Pancake, six. Foom, but bend your knees, yeah. Five, six, seven, and ah. Let's go, let's move on. Let's get another Alrighty. group in here. We gotta see what we got. My name's Alina. My name is Freya. Hi, I'm Hannah, and I'm 12. What's your name, Had? Hannah. Oh, Hannah! Drop your back, hands to the floor. I was on the Katie Kirk show. I made it into ABT. I danced with Mariah Carey. Wow. You have to be bigger than life, okay? Next group. Next group. Boom. Stop. Did you guys bring your resumes? Yeah. yeah. I love it. Where's the face, the emotion? <sighs> Two. The technique that we're looking for, I'm not really seeing with you guys. Nothing in that Nothing group. Show me yourself, be beautiful. She was good, but she wasn't like, knocked me off my seat. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for coming today. Great job, though, ladies, great job. Very nice job. This is hard work auditioning people, isn't it? I'm hungry. You're hungry also? I asked for chocolate and we didn't get any. Vivi is like my little buddy. And I trust her because Vivi has a, has a really good insight. How's your eyes? Mm. Are they burning? Yeah, I don't know why. I don't either. Hi there! You are a dancer. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Real quickly, what I'd like to know is your name and your age. Charles, I'm 10. Are you sure you dance? Yeah. What type of dance do you do? I like to express myself while I dance. Sometimes when I get mad, I just dance and just, it calms me down. Very good, okay. All right, let's go. Dance, go. Trip, let me see who you are. Yes, let go, let go, be free. Be free, express yourself. Go in, guys, I'm not seeing enough. I need face. Okay, guys, okay, okay. That was inspiring, man. Thank you. Thank you, never give up dancing, okay? I From a male dancing to another. You have something special and keep working hard, okay? Are you the only boy that's out there? Please tell me now. No. Yes. I said please tell me now. Vivi, what'd you think about that last group? No, I didn't really like them that much. They were terrible. I mean, the little girl in the mint, she's borderline. Yeah. Um, and I liked Maddie only because she's experienced. Yeah. And, and, and you she could had, see, you could see it. She had good ballet yeah. training. You could tell just yeah. by the way she held herself. Yeah. What do you think about the 12 year old? I think she's too big for the guy, like, mass wise. She's very mature looking. I like the, the one that's 10 better than her. I mean, she has the facility and the information, but yeah. I think. Like, with her instrument, it's enough. The three boys that are going to be doing the group dance all have such wonderful qualities. So I'm looking for another team player that's just gonna fit right in with these boys, that's gonna gel immediately. So, guys, you are the finalists, which in itself, that was a big win, okay? Charles, step forward, please. You are, like, very inspirational. I wanna tell you to keep up the good work because the boys, are few and far between. I got chills right now because I know, being who you are, a young little boy, you get teased and called names for doing what you do. And I was once this little kid. Wherever this leads today, continue. Continue, man. You did all did an awesome job, but we both have decided upon number... number 80516. Victoria! It was a hard decision. Victoria comes from Studio Lurkin, and they have a fabulous reputation. Not only that, I think that Abby has seen them before, and it's gonna be kind of fun if she recognizes Victoria, and now Victoria's on our team. All of you are very talented so and have you. something You're special. very talented. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. All the way up.
Will you come with me for a minute? Yeah. Abby wasn't going to give me this script. You found one for me. Now Kalani doesn't have a script. Abby did get a casting call for all the girls to go to. Jojo not included. Gia gave them all sides to read. Not Jojo. All right. So they're, we might have to go quick. So this is Ellie, the little girl, 12 to 14. So like, really? Wow. Oh, thanks. Sorry. I was sorry. It's okay, honey. Um, really? Wow. Thanks. Jess and Jojo are in the studio and they're just like rehearsing the script in there. How'd they get Where'd it? Where'd they get it? No, don't do they're it. Good. No, let them be. Just let them do it. You know what? Jojo took Kalani's sides and practiced. She's a rude person. She took that out of your daughter's purse. That's she took great. it out of Kalani's purse? Yeah. And she's, I mean, it's just rude. If she wanted to borrow it, that's fine. We would totally give it to her, but she took it out of your daughter's purse. It's rude to go in someone's purse. Sorry. I mean, like, I don't care. Oh, yeah, I'm here. She goes, I'm it was hungry. on the floor, and Kalani just told me it was in her purse. You go lay us over. Okay. Did you go in my daughter's purse? No, this was laying on the floor. Then why would she say that you went in my daughter's purse? Why would I go in your daughter's purse? I don't know, but that's Kalani's. It was laying on the floor. It's Kalani's. It was laying on the floor. It's not Do not you not give a you about it? One. Do you not give a about you it? You just throw it on one. the floor. You don't care about it, Kira. Am like, I the one that threw it on the floor or did yeah, Kalani? Yeah, probably. Really? You because I think you got it out of a purse. Kira. Why don't you start to care? Why don't you start to care, Kara? Hey. Hey. I like your outfit. Thank you. I like yours, too. You look cute. We're in LA. The girls have their first casting call, and I think we all are really excited. This is a big deal. Is that Abby screaming about a parking spot? What did he just say? Oh my god. I can't believe she's doing this right in front of the casting agency. Is she seriously losing her mind? LA is too much, it's too much for Abby to handle. Hi, Miss Abby. Hi, Abby. Do you have any words of wisdom for the girls? It's our first time together since we've been in LA. Yeah. We haven't seen you as a group for several days, and it's absolutely disgraceful. You do realize your mother's calling me disgraceful, and I'm your teacher. She needs to learn to keep her damn mouth shut. You know what? The moment someone says anything to you, you go back and you strike out a, a child. So I just strike out a, a child. Meant, yes, Choose your words. Thank you, my This is what I didn't want to happen. We have to get these girls inside before we ruin the whole audition for the girls. Why don't you guys go work on your scripts with each other? Hey, girls. How are you doing? Good. I'm John Barber, my casting director. I'm going to bring you into the room for a bit, OK? Nice to meet you. This is a huge opportunity for the girls to network. This meeting is what people in the industry call a general. It's how new actors pitch themselves to agencies to get on their must-hire list for the future. Just so you know a little bit about us, we do commercials, we do music videos, we did the Taylor Swift Shake It Off. I'm so excited. I really want to be a singer and become a pop star. Maybe if I do well today, that dream might come true. Right, right, I stop. guess this is our waiting room. They gave us a viewing room. Oh, they're there. I think Mia's pretty solid. I don't think she gets nervous. Well, they shouldn't have a manager rattling down, acting as if it's normal to go across country and not be seen for two days with no explanation. That's not normal. Well, really, the craziness started before Abby even walked up to us. You realize that. Something crazy was going on behind us. Yeah. I think she's been fired up for two days. That doesn't help her. Doesn't help her image. I'm not sure she's worried about her image. Hello. Hello. This is Jojo. Hi, Jojo. Was she Lisa a volunteer? Fields. Yes, I yes. was. Absolutely, the very first volunteer. Well, so if you want to hit that right little that pink, pink X right there. Begin to read, OK? I don't think people realize just how exciting the anatomy of a cell is. Um, bring it down. You're just talking to him. He's right in front of you. I had no idea you were into science. My absolute hero is Albert Einstein. 
That was very good. I don't think people realize just how exciting the anatomy of the cell is. Anatomy. What you say anatomy? Anatomy. I know. I said anatomy. <laughs> anatomy. Anatomy. <laughs> I've liked you since forever, but I had never imagined you liked me back. I think this is possibly the best day of my entire life. That was very nice. You did a really great job. Thank you. I'm the joke. How could I be this stupid? Just, just get away from me. <laughs> well done, my lady. Thank you. Well done. It was very, very good. Thank we'll you. We'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, thank you. This is Nia. Hi. Hi, Nia. I'm Lisa. Do you have any questions before we get started, or you would like to just jump right into it? I'll just jump right into Great. it. Great. I'm standing right out there on that pink mark. Hey there. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? No. What I, uh, I just want to say that I am really impressed with your presentation in biology today. Really? Wow, thanks. She's really She's good. She's so good. Like, Ben would ever have a crush on you. Why would you? How could you? I never did anything to you. How could I be so stupid? Just, just get away from me. OK. She did not take, she, she took the character in a different direction, which was her mother. Sometimes it's better to go off the script, and, mm -hmm. you know? And sometimes it's those choices that actually get the job. The person who does it the way everyone else does not do it. Did Abby really just go there? Abby ruined Nia's audition because I held Abby accountable. And it's absolutely cruel. I was hoping Abby would come to her senses and not take her anger out on Nia, but she was obnoxious, vile, mean, and Nia has to deal with her wrath. Nia was good and Abby is not going to give her any affirmation. That's pretty much, Jill, what we asked her before we even made this commitment to come across country. Is it gonna be any different? And apparently not. There's a second affirmative for you. You go out and network yourself and your child and you do what's best for you. I want Nia to be successful. I want her to achieve her dream of becoming a star, but at what cost? I'm not a puppet. I'm not gonna be a yes person but I'm sure I'm not gonna stand here and let you say these horrendous things about any of these kids. It's wrong. What you just did was foul, Abby. Foul. What? You taking away a raw opportunity. So if that makes you feel good, so be it. Trying to protect your child and make her not look like a complete fool. That's Abby, what I'm trying to do. I, I don't think she looks like a complete fool. I really don't. Was, am I the only person who? I get it. Oh, okay. And we're all acting like this is normal. Everyone else when it wants to act like that's normal behavior, so be it. Go back and look at your pictures of your personality when you were a baby, before she made the mini-me. A mini-me, that's a compliment. Oh, it's and a, you that's think a that. compliment, absolutely. There's nothing that she needs to be ashamed of her mother for. I am very congenial. Hi, can I help you guys? This is Nakaya. We're here to see Abby. Oh, She's yeah. She's expecting us. This is Nakaya. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you, sweetie. Yeah. We're looking for a new studio yeah. to compete. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I was approached by Kaya and her daughter, Nakaya, after our dance concert. I had no idea who the woman was, but it turns out She's from St. Louis, from a very reputable teacher, a colleague of mine. So I'm going to check the kid out. That's the least I can do. You're Kaya. Kaya, this is Nikaya. Nikaya, hi. Where are the girls looking at? There's someone here. She's inviting someone in. Do you want to get your shoes and your street clothes off? And I'm going to check her out a little bit. If you want to go up and sit with the moms, you're more than welcome to. All right. I'm always looking to make my competition team stronger. Maybe this kid, Nikaya, and her mom are just what my team needs before nationals. There's certainly nothing like a surprise or two to wake everybody up. Hi. Hey, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm fine. Good. I'm Alyssa. What's your name? I'm Kaya. Kaya, pretty name. Hi, Alyssa? I'm Holly. Nice Hi, to Holly. meet you. Kelly. 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 Hello. So where are you from? I'm from St. Louis. Oh, oh you? OK. Oh. You moved here? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know why Abby constantly insists on bringing new people in. It's bad enough when she brings people in from the studio that we know and have danced with. Now she's bringing a stranger in. I just think it's crazy. So what did you think of our dance concert? I mean, they're really, really talented. I mean, as far as technique goes, but as far as entertaining, I don't. 
think it was really entertaining. It didn't have a lot of personal, really? you know, I didn't think oh. so. So the new mom comes upstairs and she sits herself down and she seems a little opinionated, to say the least. I think our kids are fabulous on stage. I mean, I, I think to... they are too. I, I, I wouldn't have brought her here if I didn't think you had fabulous dancers. I just think that they could use a little more personality, a little more diva to you than she has that. Diva to is just when you're born with it, when you just know you have it. No amount of technique or any type of training gives you that. I didn't think any of Abby's dancers had that. Diva to? Yeah, or not that's what divas. I call it. <laughs> what does it, your docket say? Black pets. I love that name. It's really pretty. You guys keep working. Get that down pat. Come on over here to the bar. Let me see fifth position. Tondu. And let me see a ronde jambe. I asked Nakaya to execute a few ballet steps. I want to see if she has a foundation, if she knows her terminology. And can you spell ronde jambe? You have to know the names of everything. We're really into terminology here. It's good that girls want to try out for our team, but I don't really want a new team member right now because I'm perfectly fine with all my friends. Do you do any acrobatics or gymnastics? No. None? Now I'm beginning to wonder about this girl. Is she for real? Is she an advanced student? Or is she just a recreation student that goes once a week whose mother's trying to get her onto a competition team? Second, second. She's going to audition, or? I think she should just start choreographing a routine and just put her in it, because her testing to see how flexible she is is not really. There's a lot of other kids who want to dance on this team, so I don't know why she would just get to walk in and be on it when there's other kids who've had to go through other auditions. Other kids don't have a resume like her. So I'm going to call your mom down. Okie doke. Well, Abby wants me to come down. Oh, good luck. Good luck! I ain't scared of her. God, she's a loose can't. You never know what's coming well, out of her mouth. That's true. No matter how serious? nice, how mean. The yeah. recital was boring, and every, all these kids yeah. need help to perform. She's not going to work on this team, girlfriend. She knows zero terminology. My kids are the whole package, not just little bits and pieces. When my kids leave here, they have a career, a livelihood, forever. I don't think that these spelling tests and all this other stupid dance terminology is relevant. What I personally want Abby to do is stick my daughter's damn dance CD in her and watch her dance. You're the professional. You've been doing this all this time. You create stars, so why would I question what you're saying? Yay! Hallelujah! We have a winner! Don't just discount Yay! her all the way. Can you come back tomorrow? Yes. So, come back, bring her in tomorrow. I'll have more time. I just heard her say. I heard her say, tomorrow. come back tomorrow, but why? You don't get to just come and be on the team. Our girls are two weeks from nationals. Why Abby would ever consider adding a new girl to the team right now is beyond me. That does not make any kind of sense whatsoever. Just when I thought it couldn't get any crazier, it got crazier. So she wanted to know if you could spell Ron Dejong, if you could spell dance terminology. What the hell does that have to do with dancing? She goes, do Ron Dejong. Now, can you spell Ron Dejong? I go, no. That is She knows that. She doesn't want to give you a chance, because I meant what I said. Her dancers have no personality. What do you have on now? Title jacket. So what difference does it make? We're going to play her game. We're going to go home tonight. We're going to learn this terminology. She's going to learn how to spell all these stupid ass dance terms. And we're going to come back tomorrow and play the game Abby wants to play. So I am the music and entertainment editor at Seventeen Magazine. And this is our fashion editor, James. I've been dying to do a fashion story with Natty. So I created a concept for a fashion story for our February issue based around you. I have to be honest, it's a shoot for three girls. We want to see which one of you would compliment her the best. James and Sergio are here to pick two girls to join Maddie in this eight page fashion spread. I think it'd be nice to see them together. I kind of want to see so, how they, so how magic they interact. Exactly. This is a chance of a lifetime. Almost every teenage girl's dream to be in Seventeen Magazine, and this is a pretty awesome opportunity. I guess your guys are the last two. Yes. My daughter's the blonde one, Bryn. She's brand new, so you may not recognize her, but she does a lot of modeling stuff. She loves it. Great.
You guys are all such great dancers. You're so talented. You guys can continue dancing. We need to deliberate. Of course, what lures Abby out of her dark cave is Sergio and James. There is no way Abby's gonna pass any opportunity to offer her two cents about who should be selected for the fashion shoot. She was number one on iTunes, her video. The one who I really need really to work is Nia. I think Kalani is absolutely stunning. She looks like she should be on the cover of something. Come here, yeah. come on. Come on, guys. So, guys. First of all, I'm so happy Abby gave us a little insight to all of you. I think the first one we can say that we are definitely putting in our shoot is uh, Nia. Everyone in our office calls you mini Beyonce. We feel like there's such a big future for you. We would love for you to be a part of this tomorrow. So Kalani, you're absolutely beautiful. I just don't know if this is the right shoot for you. Okay, cool, thank you. Mackenzie and Jojo, we love you. Thank you. We just don't feel like this is the right opportunity for you because you're so young. And the last two are Bryn and Kendall. Kendall, I think you're amazing. Thank you. It's Maddie's best friend. Bryn, I think. Your look is great, and I think also the way that you moved was incredible. We are going with Kendall. That's so exciting! I'm sorry, I'm so excited! That's good, there'll be other time. We can't wait to see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. The Seventeen Magazine shoot is an incredible opportunity for Maddie, Nia, and Kendall. We're in the big You guys are now. in the big leagues now. Kendall, look at those clothes. Oh, oh, hi, guys. How are you? We're so excited you guys are here. Thank you. We are not as excited as these kids are. We'll have you guys start in hair and makeup. OK, so I'll come in and introduce you. Walking into the 17 photo shoot from the moment we set foot, you can just tell this is a legitimate photo shoot with producers and editors and stylists and hair and makeup people. This is as big as it gets. But the greatest part is spending the day away from Abby in her dance studio. Funny to me seeing the different personalities of you guys. Uh-huh. I'm kind of completely opposite. Yeah, I'm more laid back, I'm chill. I'm cooler than her, and I'm just... <laughs> She's not as crazy as Jill. I think she wants them more than her daughter. Jill's like, oh, honey. Oh, I need one of those. It's really can you do me next? <laughs> Absolutely. Then you can say, um, I did Victoria Beckham, Kendall K, and Jill. And Jill. <laughs> okay, you, you can leave. Beautiful oh, hold All right, OK, get changed. Let's do a group pick. What is that? Who's that? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Sergio left a little surprise for us in the green room, a little sneak peek of Seventeen Magazine. Our girls look so beautiful, and hopefully this will be the first of many more to come. Maddie isn't here today. I need somebody to take her place. Ladies, we're going to have a little competition. I want everybody to improv, and then the moms are going to pick the kid they think, wow, here's the little catch. You cannot pick your own child. All right, moms, I want you to come on over here. Stand over here with me. All right, ladies, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Jill. Personally, my eye was drawn to Kendall, but I know we can't pick them. So my eye was secondly drawn to Kalani. Kalani, okay. And Kira. Chloe. 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 Uh, Kalani. 
I, I was watching you. Wait, could you say the name? I didn't hear. Kendall, thank you. All right, you two are out of the game. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, who's voting for Kalani? Who voted for Chloe? Raise your hand. One, two, three. And who voted for Kendall? Oh, I did. One, two, three. Kalani, you're out. <laughs> All right, we have it down to two. Finish. <laughs> Kalani. Kendall. 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 What happened? Kendall? Not He's not here right now. So you have been chosen to take her position. I'm so excited. I knew Kendall was going to win the improv. Abby has never given her the time of day. And here, this kid went out and nailed it. And now, maybe since Kendall got the lead in the dance, Abby will have to pay attention to her. Maddie. Since you weren't here yesterday, I put Kendall in charge. They had to do improv dance off to see who was going to be like the main person that did the counts. So respectfully, I want you to let her continue today, OK? Because you worry about you and your parts. All righty? Yeah. The group routine this week is called The Bite. It's very dark and driven. Kalani, you're going to come out first. Then my next set is Kendall and Maddie. With Maddie away, I needed a kid to take charge, the leader. Kendall isn't really a Maddie. Maddie getting that window. This is where Maddie leaves. No. I don't think that Kendall is the lead. I think Kalani's the lead. Does anyone else think that Kalani looks like she's the lead of the dance? Abby, wasn't that the role you just gave to Kendall? She just earned that spot, and now you're giving it to Kalani. Abby, you're not even pretending to stand by your word, and I think it's ridiculous. Like, who's really featured in this dance? At first, I thought it was Kalani, because she starts and she enters. Everybody is. Well, it's either Kalani or, or Maddie. Maddie has the prop. And she has a prop. And so I your, mean, your the eye is bright red on. apple that your eye goes to. Your eye where on, where is on the prop? She doesn't have it now. She goes off and gets it and brings it on. Uh, I kind of think Kendall should have been biting the apple and dying, or doing the spooky witch part to give Kalani the apple. Because she won the dance off. Well, I think it's established Kendall is not the lead, didn't get a special part, and doesn't carry the apple. It backfired. But is she doing the counts and being the dance captain? Yeah, but that wasn't really initially what it was supposed no, to be. No, it didn't go Abby's way, so then the rules changed. The rules In changed. The it's just funny that the apple didn't show up until Maddie did. We had learned the dance without Maddie. And then Maddie came. I Melissa, know. I'm just saying. I'm we didn't know there was an apple until Maddie was holding it. So, Abby, I just have a quick question. You know, when Kendall won the competition that we had, what was her special part again? She was the dance captain. She still is. OK, but before that, you said it was for a special part. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Moms, did we discuss what we thought and we figured that changed no, because... They, they, who was my number one leader of the group with Maddie's absence? Who was the girl that was going to count for everyone? Who was the go-to girl? And that's what she did. You can't hear when you're sitting up no, there. No, but... We just but, assumed that Kendall would be doing the part that Maddie got because she wasn't at Pyramid and Kendall won the dance off. Wah, 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 meow, meow, meow. I don't think Maddie or Kalani do anything that Kendall couldn't have done. So what would it have hurt you to not feature Maddie for once? You want to know how to be the favorite? Be on time. Be prepared. That would that be the best person in the class. Never once did I hear Kendall open her damn mouth and say, Miss Abby, I really want the special part. Please let me try it. Why would she do that? If she wants it so bad, that's what a kid does. If you want it bad enough, you fight for it. It would be great. It would be great.
All right, up next in the junior small group division, this is entry number 76, entitled The Bite. I'm really nervous right now. The girls are about to go on stage, and they've had an enormous winning streak. But one wardrobe malfunction with those capes, and that streak may come to an end. was great. However, there was nothing that Maddie or Kalani did that Kendall couldn't do. That's not fair. And in first place, act number 76, The Bike. <laughs> video auditions. We're looking for girls to dance back up for Mackenzie, and I want to make sure the right kids are picked. My mom understands that the show must go on. She wants this video to happen, and I think that Mackenzie could be a star. You were all invited here to be in a video for Maxie. Everybody's front part. Good. Number four, I'm gonna let you go. Bye! All right, see you later, you have to go. I think she just has a great look. Okay. So number six, you and your mom can leave. Thank you very much. 19, I am going to use you to do some of the stuff on the bed with the younger people. Clearly, Abby doesn't want anyone cuter than Mackenzie in the music video, because why else would you cut Chloe? You said one is a yes, three is a yes, 22 is a yes. What are you going to do about your sister? I guess she's a yes. Do you really want her in the video? I mean, I can use her as a helper. She can assist. That's better. Number 13, we feel that you may be better served as an assistant during the shoot rather than actually on camera. Maybe she should be on camera. Yeah. I, you asked me if you could help me pick the people, and I said, yes, you can pick the people, but now with that comes responsibility. Sometimes people change their mind, though. When the whole video concept was first brought about, Mackenzie, the little diva that she is, wanted to know if she could pick the dancers. That was her entire concern. So I let her help pick the dancers. Why wouldn't I? This is her video. OK. Everybody, congratulations. You will be dancing in the video. This is an exciting thing for me. I've never produced a video before. I've never produced music before. It's a whole new venture. But I want to make sure that Max Z represents the ALDC like I know she can. Five, six, seven, eight, all one, two, all three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all one, two. Three. Let's remember little things, shoulders down, stretched feet. What? Sarah, watch that posture, it's atrocious. We are shooting Mackenzie's music video at Melissa's house. 
Now, I auditioned other kids in the ALDC to dance back up for Mackenzie's video. Everybody, congratulations. You will be dancing in the video. So both sets of moms are here at the house. And that spells trouble. That pyramid was kind of kooky and a little bit crazy. I don't, I don't agree with it. I never agree with pyramid, but I really disagreed with that. It's totally arbitrary where she wants to place people on a pyramid. And today, I thought was a clear indication, if ever, I'm putting people on a pyramid wherever I, I choose. That's what she did. I think Nia didn't deserve to be on the bottom of the pyramid. Her placement deserved higher than being last in the pyramid. So girls, what we're going to do is, you know the line, when you hear it, I want you to go, what we need is a girl party. Dance. What we need is a girl party. Working on the video is really awesome because I have all my friends in it. I love to sing. <laughs> all right, let's go. Hey. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you? Where have you guys been? Were you in the other room or were you upstairs? Well, these moms, they're members of the Abby Lee Dance Company. I don't like Christy with a Y. She's so freaking annoying. She wants to be a part of this team. Where do you guys think our girls stand compared to Abby's new elite team that she's making? The team? Oh, I think. Yeah, I would definitely love to hear your input on that. Well, I don't think your kids could input. even hold a candle to them because they're they're amazing. She's looking for a team that will direct that will be able to beat our kids. But what happens when a kid has already beat your kids? Our kids are just as good as your children. Let's not start with that. No, so now kids. But Sarah beat Mackenzie at the junior level. And Sarah year, beat Mackenzie well, at the junior level. Sarah never beat Mackenzie. Well, you can't year. single out one kid. She won last. I don't know. Well, maybe she didn't actually compete. I am appalled. Why are these mothers behaving like a bunch of teenagers? The video has gone too smoothly to let a bunch of ignorant moms mess it up. Yes. Our kids do not get you. Abby, we need you more. I know. My Sarah needs you more. Oh, my God. The little ones coming up, they want to have me as their teacher. They want to be corrected. They're hungry for it. So there's a lot of jealousy that goes on between them and the moms on the junior elite team. But, Abby, Sarah has the ability to be your next Maddie. Oh, Her. did you really just say I that? Did just say Please, that. Please. you need your eyes checked then. No. You yes, you do. She does not know when to shut up. My daughter's better than your daughter. I don't care. It makes me so crazy. Do you know what? Get your shoes on and leave my house. Get out. Get your shoes on and leave. What? What did the Get your shoes on. Honestly, I have never seen Melissa act like this before. It's clear that these other moms are definitely getting under Melissa's skin, and our team is beginning to crack. And you leave. This is my daughter's right. music video. Get your shoes on. Melissa. Now. I'm calling cops. I'm calling cops on her. Do you know me, Melissa? I'm not trying to call. Guess what? This is my house. My house. Okay. okay. And I 911. 911. We're here at the photo shoot for Dance Track Magazine. One of them is going to be selected to be on the cover. This has Maddie's name written all over it. We are so excited to be here. Everybody's going to give me what? 100%? 110. Thank you. Whoever wins the cover is going to have a lot of people looking at them. Judges, choreographers, casting agents, directors, producers, you name it. It's a shame that Kelly went berserk at the dance concert dress rehearsal and took her kids with her. I could definitely see Paige winning this cover. So I think we have our first victim. Here we go. For this photo shoot, I've assigned each girl a character to help them bring life and energy to their pictures. Chloe is the rebel rocker. Ah! Oh, that's cute. Okay. Maddie is the teacher's pet, of course. Hello. Asia is the girl with a big reputation. You know, sassy. OK. Kendall is the mean girl. Woo! Mackenzie is the bookworm, the nerd. That's pretty. And Nia is the athlete. She's portraying a gymnast. 
seeing the girls in their element, dressed, having fun, in front of the camera, it's fun. It's a shame that Brooke and Paige aren't here to enjoy this experience. I almost forgot about this whole photo shoot thing. I know it's a big deal for you guys. Oh, these children haven't forgotten. forgotten. Oh, I know, I know they haven't forgotten about it. So I found Sandra. Oh! Come on. Oh, All right, they've been waiting no with the oh, Abby doesn't even know who's on the I cover. I don't. So we came to the Abby Lee Dance Company specifically to find our very first cover person that will be a professional child dancer. It's pretty big. So I would like to congratulate the winner and announce the next cover of Dance Track Magazine. And the winner is... I am truly shocked that Kendall won. Not that she wouldn't be good at it or be amazing and beautiful, just the fact that Maddie and Mackenzie always seem to get that special part. I was really surprised that it was Kendall. I love you, Kendall. Girls, school, school. Dance Truck, thank you so much, Sandra. Thank I you. appreciate it. You know what? Thank you, Sandra. Are you guys nervous for 45 seconds? I'm a little nervous because, you know, sometimes Abby doesn't pick, like, the best dancer. She just picks, like, whoever she wants to pick, you know. I'm worried about who Abby's going to choose because she's making the decision, and there's no other judges. So even if you did the best, she might not even pick you. Everybody ready? You have 45 seconds of a solo to present to me on stage. This is the week before nationals. We are leaving in 48 hours. We only have two solos left for nationals. Who's it going to be? This is it. What happens in the next few minutes could change your life. Let's go. This is important 45 seconds of, of your life. life. Yeah. Of your life. Dance life. Yes. It's not life life. Well, you know what I mean. She has to choose you. I think you can do this. Okay, so nail it, okay? okay? I'll be out there rooting for you. Kendall is being looked at as the possible sub for Maddie if Maddie is not going to be at the national competition. She either steps out on the stage and is a better dancer than she's ever been before, or she flubs up and she's just another 11-year-old in Maddie's shadow. Mackenzie has moved up to an older age division now that she's 10 years old. So her chances of getting a solo at nationals are slim to none. She needs to step out on that stage and do something that is mature, something that is flawless. I gotta get you out of my system. I gotta get you off of my mind. But how do I move on when no one compares? They only keep me occupied. So good. Who was it? 
I hold Mackenzie to a much higher standard. She was not together. In your face, when I messed up, your face was like this. She knew that she couldn't have any mishaps, but she did. Ow! I'm nervous for this 45 second challenge. Abby has made it clear that she's the judge, the jury, and the executioner. I'm just thankful that Ed Cameron's one of her favorites. Cameron fell out of her turn. I think Mia has a good shot of getting a solo. Me too, me too. She plays to the back of the house. And then brave dancing. So, so then I was like late on this part. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Hello. Hello. I saw some things I loved. Some of the dancers projected all the way to me. I could see their facial expressions. I could see changes in the emotion. That's going to be important when they're performing. I want our best shot at winning to be out on that stage. I don't think the moms are gonna like my critiques, but I don't really care. I'm the dance teacher, and I know what it's gonna take to win at nationals. All right, I need to get my hair down, so I will see you after the show. I need to get to the dinner. Please don't come and ask me later about the solos. Don't pressure me tonight. I'm not going to make a hasty decision and just blurt something out in front of the moms. I want to think about this. It's like betting on a horse. I have to look at the odds and go for the win. What did Cameron say? Do you have a lot? Um, Abby sort of has, like, doctor writing to me. I can't always read Abby's writing. I don't know. Use music at end. Did she say anything on your critiques about Cameron blowing her turns? No. Because she's, like, the Maddie of the select team. Like, she can't see Maddie's sickled feet. She can't see Cameron's mistakes. Cameron did cover it well. No, it was well, bullying. That's, a, all that's a trained eye right there. We all saw it. She I did cover it well. Saw it. However, no, I, saw I, it. I know, I know. Abby sees what she wants to see. Just like when Chloe beat Cameron and she didn't think it should work out that way and she went to the judges, this wasn't cut and dry like she expected it to be yep. and now she's backpedaling. The favoritism is crystal clear. Jody is okay playing along with Abby's fabricated worldview. The kid did not give a flawless performance, but I think as long as Jody's benefiting from the whole experience, it's all okay. And that's not right. Have more confidence throughout. Here, we can look at them really quickly. Feet and recovery from turn. I'll just be there. Deeper plie, what I always say. Sloppy feet. Reading the critiques from Abby, the chances of her doing a solo at nationals are pretty Zero to nine. It just makes me sad. I know, I know. You know what, Nia, I know. I know. I know. It doesn't take away anything that you did last week. I told your mother in the audience, what did I look at you and say? I said, I think I did the best. I did. I know that I don't count, and I know I'm not nationals, and I know the injustices of the world weren't fair. I know, I know. But that doesn't, that doesn't take anything away from you, okay? And are you not your mother's daughter? Chin up, and you go out there, and you do better than you ever could have imagined, right? We don't have any competitions coming up right this very moment, but I received a phone call from a casting agent who wants you girls to read for the show Drop Dead Diva. Doesn't that sound like fun? I think you're going to make me do it. Excuse me, ladies. You're all here to audition. I'm gonna take you in one at a time. I want you to memorize those lines. Today, we're going to record our auditions for Drop Dead Diva. I'm really nervous about it because I know they're calling other dance studios in the area, too. Hello? How are you today? Good. Good. I'm gonna have you stand right here. Look at the camera. I really hope I get this part because I think it would be fun to be on a TV show and see the set and everything. Hi, my name is Taylor, and I'm auditioning for four. Yeah, for what? Yeah, for you. 
you tell me for what? <laughs> now take it from the top. Stop. I, I'm done. Hello? Sorry, I lost. Well, okay, take two. It's all right. No, it's not. I, it was too hard. I really hope I get the part on Drop Dead Diva because it's just like winning the lottery, and I think that's really cool. Oh, Choreography. Choreography. You can see it. Use another dancer. I'm done. Use another dancer. I'm done. Where should I go? Go. Okay, very nice audition. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, you can go. I think that my girls did an outstanding job today. I think that one of my girls is gonna get it. Maybe Paige, maybe Maddie. But that's not up to me now, is it? It's up to the casting director. And you're stepping and finishing the turn, and you're really running in and finishing the turn. Yeah. Hello? The girls auditioned for a role on Drop Dead Diva. I've been anxiously awaiting this call. Hi, how are you? Just wanted to let you know that after watching all of the auditions, we have decided that we are going to go with Maddie. She did a great, great reading. Her dancing was beautiful, and we thought that she was great, and we decided to go with her. Something's going on. No, they just said Maddie got Drop Dead Diva. How do you know? Because the kids just told me. Oh. All right, super. Thank you so much. And isn't it funny how they wanted a blonde and she's the only one that auditioned that wasn't a blonde? And isn't it funny? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that Maddie had that part before she even auditioned for it. Thank you. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. OK. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Are you excited? I think all the other girls know that it's not a level playing field. So it's no big surprise when Maddie gets chosen for parts. I think the girls are used to it, but they shouldn't have to be. I know how things like this work. It is political, and I know already has someone's name on it. I don't even know why they have our kids it's audition real. for things. It's a real well, part. So it's... we just auditioned for the show because Maddie was slated for that part before she ever opened her mouth. I always said that that role had someone's name on it. And in my mind, that child was Maddie. Go tell your mom you got the job. Woohoo! The part goes to Maddie. Is Maddie the best? Who knows? It's not about being the best. It's about being right for the part. Good job, honey. I'm so proud of you. you. Congratulations. Excited? It's not fair to Maddie. When she gets a job, I want her to be excited. If any of the other girls got it, all the moms would be jumping and screaming and hipping and hollering, but when it's my daughter, they get jealous. Honey, I'm excited for you. Thanks. I'm sure all of your team members are excited, too, for you. When Miss Abby announced that I got the part, I was just smiling, and I tried to stay as humble as I could because I didn't want to have my other friends feel bad. I'm proud of you, honey. Go back into class. Good job. Congratulations. I just wish that things were fair and even. Abby absolutely 100% made sure that Maddie was going to get that role come hell or high water. Maddie and I are getting ready to film Drop Dead Diva. We're on the way to the sound stage right now. We're so excited. I just know she's going to nail her acting performance just like she does in dancing. I'm really excited to be shooting my scenes for Drop Dead Diva. They had me do a lot of takes over and over, and I actually like that because I like to do everything perfect. I can't do it! It was really fun to see Maddie get into her character. I'm really happy for her, but it's too bad that the other girls and moms can't be here as well. Listen, I blocked out the whole Drop Dead Diva routine because I wanted you to concentrate on this number and on the group number, but now that the group won and your solo is finished, I want to see what they had you do. So can you show it to me? I'm sure everybody else wants to see it, too. Yes? I mean, really, Abby. These girls have just danced their heart out, and the only thing you care about is Maddie running her Drop Dead Diva dance in front of everyone. You're just kind of rubbing this in everybody's face. I'm not running it in everybody's your face. Your name and your reputation, what you want them to set their best foot forward. This is just another example of Abby's blatant disregard for anyone who's not Maddie. So I think that next time that we have the opportunity to do an audition that everybody should get the opportunity.
Where is she going? I don't know where Daddy. she's going. Because of the vultures in this room, that no, poor Abby. kid has to go no, like this. No, Abby. No. She and you know what? Have you to, know who Abby, creates the does. vultures? It's you. No. Because you try to turn all of these kids against their friend, and that little girl's mortified all the time, but you don't care. How about being a role model? I have heard you say to her, to that little nine-year-old girl, no one would be happy for you. Everyone's jealous of you. Why do you, you say that? Are. No, Look we're you. not. No, we're not. Years you ago. have sabotaged my daughter and the rest of the Daughter's kids. a little snake. How dare you? moms. They're rude and they're nasty and they're jealous of a little nine-year-old girl who got a part on a television show. Au revoir. You can't walk we started planning this audition while I was still in LA. There was a line around the building and down the block. Come on, come on, come on, come on. always that fear in the back of your mind that what if she finds someone that she thinks is better, cuter, more talented than any one of our kids? I mean, I would hate for Kendall to be replaced. Who would like to be on this particular team of the Abby Lee Dance Company? Okay, I have two spots. All right, let's do it. All right, girls, up. You guys right there, go. The talent in the studio right now is blowing me away. Wow. I have never seen this many talented kids all in one place together at one time. Oh, maybe we have Brooke. I think, I think we found Brooke. Of course, I'm looking for somebody that fits in with the group. But I'm also looking for beautiful legs, gorgeous feet, excellent flexibility, and a great ability to comprehend quickly. That is key when you have to do a new competition routine every single week. I'm gonna let you go. Where are you from? Ohio. You're gone. You jump in there with Kind of interesting sitting in the viewing room, watching these moms. It's almost like the moms were competing as well as their kids. These moms are crazy. Hey, Leslie. Yes. I do have something I wanted to ask you about. Why did you leave our kids in LA with our honey? Okay, I'm sorry, I have to get there. Because I felt like it. I don't have to answer you to you. You are the rudest yeah, woman really, I know. Am yes, I really? You are. Nobody even asked me to Are you that kidding me? You were chaperoning. Soon. You're a nobody. Why are you even here? I do I'm, not abandon eight kids so in LA. So I can't all the time the back and drive your pack by. Next group. Ariel Walkover. You're just looking better all the time over there, purple. <laughs> Next group. There's enough talent during this open call that Abby could easily make another team or two. I see it. I'm sure the other moms see it. I think everyone's feeling a little pressured. Like, hmm, is Abby going to get any bright ideas and maybe replace all of the girls? Congratulations. These are our finalists. Give them a round of applause. My biggest concern about Abby bringing someone new into the team is, you know, these girls are all tall. They're at least six, eight inches taller than our girls. So it's kind of going to look odd as a group number. So this girl is going to have to be featured in every single dance. Congratulations. I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed. I have a lot to think about. I will have to decide who will be here in rehearsal tomorrow and going to Denver, Colorado this weekend to compete with our groups. But you never know. There's some kids on thin ice. It's not over tonight. You're, so she's a lefty. So it's right. Hi. The new moms. Okay. Bring them in. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great. How are nice you? Nice to I see 
Does anybody have a nail file? Should we get our cat claws ready? If I go with you, I have a 10-year-old to keep my age down. If I go with you, then I can win in the 13 to 15 division. I called back two dancers from the audition, Allie and Ava. Originally, I was replacing Brooke and Paige. But after closer consideration, I decided just to go with one dancer, Hase, and just double pay up. I like Ava. I think she's a really pretty little girl, and I think she's fabulous for only being 10 years old. But she doesn't have her side aerial yet. I need a kid that can tumble as well as dance. OK, um, whatever happens today, I don't want you to take it as the gospel. Two weeks can go by, and we can call somebody back in. Right. OK? And by then, you may have your side aerial. Yes? So I'm going to tell you that today is not your day. All right? And you're going to go to Denver with us. All right? I'm Allie. I'm 13 years old. This is a big opportunity. And I mean, I just don't want to screw it up. Congratulations. Thank you. Allie is a special dancer. She is gorgeous to look at. Her technique is flawless, and she's over 12. That's what I'm looking for. The Abby Lee Dance Company is looking for replacements. The time has come. Lazy slugs need to go. Spread apart. Hurry up, hurry up, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're in Atlanta for my second round of auditions. Melissa and Holly are here to help me. Now, we have a great turnout. There's tons of kids here, and I'm looking for the best possible replacements. I'm looking for kids with high kicks, overstretched splits, great flexibility, and they've got to have the look. So, the girl with the bad haircut, get out here. Whose parent is this? Who? You are limiting her marketability. You are limiting the job she can get with the look. Yes. Our kids are all American girls. They don't color their hair, they don't crimp their hair, and you know, they follow the rules. I don't know if she would do that. One, two, three, four. Red shorts in the back. Right split, left split, straddle split. Mandatory. Dancer. Yes? Go. 16. That's not a front split. Goodbye. Nine, zero, zero. Go. 406. Goodbye, honey. Thank you for coming. Don't call me, I'll call you. The games have just begun. And face front, 23, great outfit. You're going home. 26, too advanced for you. 425, went the wrong direction. 202, 405, 201. You are a hot mess. Thank you all, ladies, you can go. What's this little one saying here, 003? I loved you. You were great until you screwed up that whole jeté chain instructions. Get down here. There are so many kids to go through. Some of these kids are just incredible talents, but they might not be right for my team. There's going to be a lot of broken hearts here today. Wait, wait, where are you going? How old are you? 11? I have my eyes 11. I believe I could work hard and train out hard and one day be able to beat whoever I need for you. Give her a second chance! Give her a second chance! In the back. I am appalled at the behavior from the people attending this audition. I mean, if you can't even keep your mouth shut, while your kid's auditioning, why would I ever bring you back to Pittsburgh with me? This is destroying me. I don't know who your dance teacher is. Have you been wearing purple all day? Yes. Why would you change your clothes? You are the girl in the purple, to my assistant, to me. You're the girl in the purple, the amazing girl in the purple. 
Goodbye. Dumb. Don't ever do that again. She's way too talented. Ready? Good night. That is not her fault. That's her fault. She needs to be on this stage. She can dance on this stage in her underwear. Her teacher said, let them see your body more. Exactly. So I took her shirt off. Because, so I, because I wanted to see her physique more. That wasn't her fault. I thought this was a dance audition. This is not what I expected. This kind of pandemonium, this calling out. This is like the Jerry Springer of dance. Look, this is not appropriate for dance. If you put her beside Manny and those other girls, she's built just like them. She looks good. You didn't know put she had Put her beside Nia. You They're built exactly the same. Jelena, I want to take you home with me just to get you she away from these exactly people. She looks exactly the same. Yes, please, take her. Take her. She please wants take to be her. with you. She wants to. We brought her here. This is the first audition I've ever been to, and I'm shocked. I cannot believe Abby is tolerating this behavior from these moms. She definitely needs to take control of this situation. Not her fault. Not her mistake. Sweetheart, I feel very sorry for you right now, but it's a learning lesson. When you go to an audition, whatever you have on, they love it, they keep you, you stay in that same exact look. Jelena, go calm down, and when the 12-year-olds dance again, you join them. Listen up. I have given second chance after second chance after second chance. This is it. We're moving on. You get cut, take it like a professional, walk out, and learn from it. I don't want this chaos. There aren't any more second chances here. If you're cut, you're cut. If you're asked to go, go. 409, it's time to go. 17. Goodbye. I've managed to whittle out the week. Now I have the best of the best in Atlanta. Once I finish my open call auditions in three cities, then I'll make my final decision. Two down, one to go. Congratulations, you did it. Now, we'll see who's coming to Pittsburgh.